king of that too, okay? Because we're going to have some fun in here today. You guys ready? All right, let's do it. Okay, well the first thing, I'm going to just, I'm going to be straight with you guys. You guys can handle it? But I do want you to know, if I say something that doesn't sound too kosher, just know that the one that spoke from her heart, and she spoke out of love. I have to let you know today that there is no security. You know, many of us left our countries where we came from, and we came to this beautiful country called Canada for an opportunity. You know, how many times have we worked so hard? You know, we call it the J-O-B, just over broke. You guys know that one? Yeah. But see, I come from a corporate background, and I've worked 21 years in my industry as an operations manager for one of the top airlines here in Canada and all across the globe for Canada. So I know what I'm saying here. I'm not just speaking to hide you, to get you excited. I'm talking from experience. And I'm here to tell you that opportunity is the only thing that we have here. You guys with me? Yeah. You want the opportunity? Oh, this gentleman right here. What's your name? I'm going to put you on the spotlight here. <laughs> Nasser. Nasser, it's a pleasure to have you, Nasser. But Nasser, you know, you and I are growing up in life, and opportunities are the only thing we have here, and you know that, right? Because how many of you, don't show me your hands, but I know many of you went into your J-O-B and you received what's called a pink slip. Sorry, we don't need your service. So what, you spent 32 years here with us, but out, O-U-T, right? I know you guys know what I'm speaking about because four o'clock in the morning, when I was just jumping out of bed to get to my J-O-B, I heard it on 680 News, they were laying off 1,000 people. And I said, well, wait a minute. I'm an executive manager with this company. How come I don't know about it? So I told my husband, ah, it's probably because they want to give me one of those pink slips when I get there. <sighs> Thank God they didn't give it to me, but they gave it to a wonderful woman who had over 32 years with the company who actually gave me my promotion, and she gave my other promotion. It's good to have favor, right? But in saying that, they ushered her out like she was a criminal. Regardless of all the work she did for the company, they didn't care. It's called downsize. It's called depletion of hours. It's called that the time is now for you to have an opportunity. So I'm going to ask that you open your ears. I want you to have a receptive heart to hear and receive what I have to tell you today because this information can definitely change your life. Here we go. Okay, that was a hand clap. Oh, yeah. All right. So what's actually driving this business is called deregulation. And for some of us who don't know about deregulation, it allows the government to come in and step up and say, wait a minute, what are you doing? You can't hog the whole place. You can't monopolize. We have to allow other markets to come in so folks like you and I, who are called consumers, can have better choices. We can choose according to our pocketbook balance. How about that? So our business is driven by deregulation. So just so you can better understand deregulation, you know, I remember back in the day when you guys only had Air Canada. Sorry. Whether you didn't like how the prices went, whether we lost your luggage, and I was part of that. Sorry. <laughs> 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 it's a system. But it's saying that, you know, you can only get from point A to B on that airline. But what happened? The government stepped in and said, hold up. You can't be the only company that's going from A to B for these folks. You have to allow other companies to come in. So when the deregulation of airlines 